the variance issue number five the final issue of this jessica jones mini really good to have her back in the world i know she hasn't gone anywhere but just like there should always be like a heroes for hire-esque book with like the street characters because when you have jessica jones luke cage colleen wing misty knight danny rand iron fist all show up in this miniseries you're like why can't we just have like an ongoing book that's just like a a revolving door of those types of characters i don't get it i feel like we should do that it's just good to have them back in the world and great to have gail simone on jessica jones because this was a fun issue wrapped up pretty easily that's the thing about these finales is they have to end so we can't really do anything bad but there's a lot of lessons learned here and i think that's kind of cool so at the end of the last issue we saw that the young jewel was actually evil wanted to steal some things away from our prime jessica and there's a big jessica jones fight we got a nice splash page showing us all the different jessicas all with cool names jessica prime captain jessica omega nitrous revision jessica 2099 ultra jess alias jesse james power woman sigil morning blush and jewel none of those are bad they're all different enough where it's like yeah they're not all inspired by like the same thing where it's just the name of jessica for the other character like jessica electra or something I'm like that yeah, that's creative enough i like it but our prime jessica's like i don't want to fight anybody can you just tell me like what this is all about so jewel gives us the, the the little backstory we need for why she's evil and it is so in line with jessica jones i like it little on the nose but come on it's fun so when she was 16 she got her powers, and she was super in love with a superhero named Scott Summers. She was so in love with Cyclops, she's like, as soon as I get out of here, I'm going to marry him, we're going to be happy. But then he married that redheaded slut, and she didn't even have a code name. She was just Jean Grey. So I went to the school, and I killed everybody. And you're like, what the fuck? What? She killed them, because she's like, that sucks. And then I got mad, and I, and I realized my powers aren't like yours, Jessica. They're more like Rogue, where I could take other people's. So I burned down the school. And then I was like, screw this. I want to go find other Jessica Joneses and I want to replace them and marry their husbands. That's her mission. She goes to other worlds like Nitrous's world, kills a bunch of people, doesn't marry there. She goes to a world where she tries to marry Doctor Strange, but instead she's like, I'm just going to take his powers because I killed him. She then has mystical powers revealed and the Eye of Agamotto. And you're like, whoa, okay, that's a lot to take in. And then she did that to the other Jessica Joneses that are on her team. All of like the other ones like Power Woman and Sigil. She took their husbands. They're dead. And now they have no choice but to work for her to do her nefarious purposes so they could all be happy eventually. It is, a, it is kind of just like kind of weird. But it also is in line of Jessica Jones. Like that younger idea where if she didn't become the person she did today, she might have just become a spoiled little brat. I think it's kind of fun. And it's different enough where I think it works. So what's she doing here? She wants to marry Luke. She wants to go with Luke Cage. It's kind of nice. And Jessica, our Jessica, is just like, he would never. He's like, well, I'm younger, I'm prettier, and frankly, I'm a bit more libertine. He'll adjust to it. And you're like, whoa, you underestimate Luke so much. And I love that. Because in all of these other timelines, guess what? None of them have a Luke. Because Luke's the best. Oh, I love that. It is so funny. We get a nice scene where Luke's like, can you, can you ladies watch Danny? I have to go deal with this. He gets out his chain. I just like that he has a chain in a, like a suitcase. He's like, I gotta go deal with this. Let's go. And then Prime Jessica just beats up Jewel and then a little fight ensues. And it's, it's nice. You know, a little bit magic fighting against Jessica. It's kind of cool. All the other like ones on her team, like Captain Jess and Nitrous, they're like, well, I guess we should try to fight this, do the best we can. It's kind of working. It's kind of cool kind of fun just a fight ensues i like it very enjoyable jewel looks like she's winning in comes a chain that chokes her and <laughs> then luke and jessica team up to beat her up and it's fun so she's down for the count all the other jessicas are like you're free now go ahead you want to kick her ass do it do it that's what happens it's it's like yeah of course what's the one thing in this world that none of the other ones have, it's Luke Cage. <laughs> that is the turning factor. I would have liked if he made a comment on the Jessica dressed up as Power Woman, but it's fine. I mean, like, he's got other shit to worry about, right? 
So it's nice. They hug it out. They have a nice moment. We realize that Huntress has actually been working for a version of Wanda Strange, who is the Sorcerer Supreme of the world that has that jewel. She comes back to this reality and takes Jewel back because she's pissed off. And I'm like, that's kind of fun. A really good integration of the costume where it's like, hey, it's Wanda and it's Doctor Strange. It works fine. And you just like get Jessica's one like, like don't look at me. I never understand what ifs. So it just all happens. End of the line, baby. We all won. Everything's hunky dory. Everything worked. Everyone can go back to their realities, try to make something of their lives that they have left. Then we see that Omega Jess is holding on to the Ivagamano that she can use to get to all these places. She's like, I just want Matt. I just want my husband back. Like, is that something I can't have? But she realizes that she can't do that. And all of our good Jessicas embrace a connection, a moment that they need to kind of like relieve the tension that they're feeling in that moment. I'm like, yeah, that's awesome. I'm here for it. Like, give me that shit. It's good. It's fun. It's honest. It's earnest. It's Jessica Jones. I like it. It's very positive. Very well done. So all the other Jessicas get sent back to their realities. Luke's like, you gonna you gonna explain what is going on right now? Because I am as lost as a butterfly. She's like, well, yeah, come down. Sit, come here. Sit with me like we're courting. He's like, courting? Really? That's so cute. So I, you know what? I'm so sick of this. You know, everyone wants me to look a certain way, do the certain things. There's like a different shades of red, pink. I just want to be Jessica Jones. I don't know what that is, but let's just get it done. Let's just have a good moment and sit here and enjoy each other. And look, the sun comes out and it's morning blush. That is sweet. That is nice. What a nice way to end the book. That's it. That's it. That's where the book ends. They all lose. And it's fun. They win the day because Luke comes in and helps out. And then all the Jessicas just beat up Jewel. Kind of cathartic in a way. Kind of just fun. A, a nice little book that I'm glad exists. It might not be the greatest depiction of Jessica Jones, but Gail knows how to write the character, knows how to make all of these just other versions feel like they're honest characters, knows how to make it work, and it's very fun to see one of the best couples of the Marvel Universe act like the best couple of the Marvel Universe. I love that. It's one of those things that always makes Jessica and Luke a favorite of mine, where he just he gets that she has deal, like issues he can't understand or help her with, and she's just accepting of him trying to be the sympathetic guy, and I, I love all that. It just works so perfectly. Phil Noto's art, breathtaking, fantastic. Seeing all the other characters they draw is really cool. The colors are great. Everything about this just flows well. It's a good Jessica Jones book. A, a really nice ending to a really fun miniseries. It's going to make for a great read if you buy the trade. And if you don't, there's something to like. It's just cool. Nice to see books like this can exist again. So, the variance issue number five. I am going to give an 8 out of 10. Now, thank you guys for watching this review. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. As always, you can check me out on Instagram, TikTok, and Hive. I will catch you in the next one. Have fun. Stay safe. Good luck.